The kick drum provides the bottom end on a drum kit. After picking the type and size of the kick and the drum is tuned correctly, the next step in the process is choosing the best beater for the job. We will look at the flat felt, rubber, wood, and plastic beaters in this section. Listen closely as the drummer plays the kick with the felt beater. This is a rubber beater. Now we will go to the wood beater. Let's listen to the plastic one. Now, let's listen to all four together. Let's listen to the softest beater and then the hardest back to back as the transition between the four beaters may be too subtle for some listeners. After we choose our beater, the next step is to select the dampening factor for the kick drum. We do this by placing a towel or pillow against the beater head secured by a weight. The amount of pressure we apply to the head will determine how much braking we put on the vibrations of the head. This will affect the duration of the kick sustain. Many of you have heard the term tightened up on the kick. This is how it's done. Let's listen to the sound of the kick drum undampened. Now let's listen to a moderately dampened kick drum. Our engineer will now place the pad securely against the beater head. Let's take a listen to these kick drum treatments in sequence.
Now that we have gotten our kick drum set up the way we want, it's time to listen to how mic placement affects the attack and tonal quality captured from the drum. We are using an AKG D112 microphone, a very common microphone for kick drum applications. Other microphones that are used on kick drums include the Electra Voice RE20, RCA, BK5, and AKG D12. Listen to the difference between close miking and miking further back. First, let's listen to the kick mic, miked inside the shell and close to the beater head, and then outside the shell. Now let's listen outside the shell. After the beater is chosen and the dampening is set, sometimes a kick drum blanket is draped over the drum shell creating a tunnel. This is done to isolate the kick drum mic from the rest of the kit. If another kick shell is available, use it as a frame to hang your blanket. This will give your tunnel some breathing space. You can use simple paper clamps or string to attach and hold the blanket to the kick drum using the drum hardware as attachment points. Drummers generally frown upon using duct tape on the body of their drums. <laughs> 